All right, guys, welcome back to part six of my Paramount VHS collection, 2020 edition. Where we last left off in part five, I already showed you Doherty, Explore, Save the Day. And now we're going to pick up from there. This next one was the first Doherty Explorer tape ever made. This one has sticky tape and berry hunt. The 10th week of 2003. And here's the last Doherty Explorer tape I have. Which this one has Little Star and Wizard Wishes. The 48th week of 2002. Now we can move on to the rest of the Paramount tapes. The 15th week of 1996. Part of the Best of the West collection. The 12th week of 1998. Two copies of Enemy at the Gates. Stir off of this copy. Purchased from Blockbuster on October 8th, 2001. The 28th week of 2001. And this copy was has a Walmart date of, of Feb 02 and Feb 03. September 2002 and February 2003. And this copy has, has the regular tape inside. But this one, for some reason, has the special edition tape inside. The Paramount Pictures special edition tape inside, for some reason. The 7th week of 2003. Just pray it a week before Crossroads, which I sh already showed you in the previous part, part five. Has the Paramount 75th anniversary ta tape inside. The eighth week of 1990. This next one came factory sealed when I first got it. Show that in a second. The 42nd week of 1997. Also comes with this inside. I have the First Wives Club. The Evening Star. Star Trek First Contact, which I'll show you later. And that and Forrest Gump, Harry the Spy. Hope to get Mission. I did. I did once see Mission Impossible in the v, in Goodwill once, but I never got it. Hope to get it someday, though. Sabrina, 1995. I have that, but it's caseless. And Tommy Boy. That's all I have. Here's the slipcover copy of Face Off, as opposed to the, the cut and clamshell copy, which I already showed you in part one, way back in part one. The sixth week of 2001. get this cobweb off. Blue tape. For mile from the video place in Charlestown, West Virginia. 
the 48th week of 1993, I think. Yeah. The 31st week of 1997. This next tape is getting worn out completely. The lid to this fell, fell off and broke, so I wrote the week and year code right here. This is a CHC copy, printed in the 32nd week of 1995, as you can see right there. Unfortunately, the tape, as you can see, is getting, is coming apart, and there's a crack in the middle. But for some reason, the film strip still looks fine. So I'll have to fix this tape soon. And like I said, the lid fell off and broke. So I'll have to fix this tape soon. And this next one, I have one, two, three, four, five copies of Forrest Gump. And two of them are have a Paramount Pictures Millennium Collection sticker. Let's start with this copy. This one doesn't have, I don't see a printy or wiki year code anywhere. Not even on the lid. No print date or week and year code. This one is a CHC copy. It has a print date of April 10th, 1995. This is another copy with the Paramount Pictures Millennium Collection sticker. And this one and the other two copies are week and year code ones. The 7th week of 1995 and look at the barcode. Fourteenth week of nineteen ninety-five, and the last copy I was originally my Grammys. Top is missing, and the case is all messed up, and it's like a clamshell. But it has a utter spine and a top. The fifteenth week of nineteen ninety-five, so printed a week after my utter after the previous copy. This next one I also got for my Grammys. The 13th week of 1993. This next one I have two copies of. Funny face. Start with the 1990 print. Paramount Communications case, but it has the Gulf and Western labels. The 25th week of 1990. And here's the 1995 copy. The 29th week of 1995. This next one's a Paramount Pictures Special Edition tape. The 
This one includes the behind the scenes featurette and four deleted scenes, including an alternate ending. June 15th, 2000. And here, I'll show you two more tapes for part six, and then we'll stop. Here are my two copies of Ghost. Let's start with this one. This is a white tape this time. Printings. Just like my 1990 print of Funny Face. The 10th week of 1991. And there is no print date. Just a week in their code. And here's a McDonald's print. The 28th week of 1993. I hope to get the McDonald's prints of Charlotte's Web and Wayne's World. The, the latter I don't have it yet, but I will get it soon. Same thing goes for Wayne's World too. See you guys on part 7.